So let's begin with our gestures. We're drawing like the overall action. Using my chalk, you can see how quickly I can shade, which is why I really like this way of drawing. But I just wanted to share a different method with you. Do this in your style, whatever works for you, but focus on the action. Focus on like the nice S curve of her body. So you see how quickly I can draw with chalk pastel? It's insane. Like I can't do the same with pencil at all. It's just because I can use it in so many different ways. Also what I like to do is just kind of shade it and then add line work on top, which allows me to add extra details, you know? So it's like two values, almost like just like a tone and then a different value. So I'm able to block in things a lot faster. And remember, don't overthink this, okay? This should be a very intuitive process. No erasing, don't overthink it. Just focus on the action, on the motion. Draw in the gesture of the feet if you can. I can't see his other arm. <laughs> so I'm thinking about my positive and my negative space here. Remember that to draw a dynamic body, right? There's usually an S curve in that body. So try to find that S curve to avoid that stiffness that we tend to do when we skip the gesture step. You might find you prefer some materials over others. I know some people hate charcoal. I know others who love charcoal. I, I'm not a huge charcoal fan. I really like Conte uh, more so than other mediums. Start with that basic shape. And then the way I hold my charcoal is kind of like a lobster. So I don't hold it like a pencil. I hold it more like I'm pinching the chalk like this. It's kind of how I hold it. So let's see if I have room for her. I'm gonna make her fighting this guy here. You know, how can you express the action and even like the gender of your subject? I wanted to show you that I really like these pastels at a shorter length because what I can do is I can use this length to shade, right? I can shade really, really quickly. I can make marks like this. I can make marks like this and I can make lines. Okay. So you can see how many different marks I can make using the same tool. Do as many as you can and just like try not to overthink it. Some poses like this one, which just appeared, I would start off with the curve of her back, right? So this one was a linear gesture, whereas the other one is more of a shape-based gesture. So when you look at it, think about it, like, do I start with a shape or do I start with a line? And then go from there, okay? And then if you start from a line, then you can say, okay, what's the next thing I want to draw? Okay, I see a triangle in her leg. I see, um, you know, kind of like a teardrop shape. Right? And then you can start adding shapes to your lines. And then if you start with a shape, then you would add lines to your shapes. So I think this one is more of a line. And then I'm gonna add on the shape, that triangle shape, and then maybe her head and her arms. You can draw the bun, then start to fill in those shapes. For the leg, like I can just kind of draw the leg as one shape. It's a little bit bendy. This one, I still think this one is more linear. There's still kind of an S curve in the body. I made his head way too big. <laughs> Oops. Again, there's a lot of things you got to think about, right? You kind of have to think about uh, proportion, head size, movement, gesture shape so lots of things to think about without overthinking like right now there's a task for you if you'd like to support the channel and the creation of free arts education become a member on patreon for behind the scenes perks and online classes at wing canvas so this one is definitely more shape based you kind of draw in his overall torso shape which is like a square head on top of that his head's kind of like a lemon shape easy to remember and add on his arms Quite a complex shape, but very unique silhouette. You don't really need to even put too much detail to appreciate the, the pose here. Her gesture, I feel, is more linear. But really, for these, you know, you're just focusing on silhouette. How do you tell the story in an interesting way? 
you know, you can even add to the story. So I'm just adding some more fabric in an attempt to make the story more interesting. Try to draw the legs through the clothing if you can. And some parts of her outfit are more transparent than others. So, you know, sometimes you can capture that transparency. This one, I think of that, right? The compression. Draw in the feet if you can, because the feet are a big part of this. So in this one, I'm also going to draw a bit of a shadow just to show that she's jumping, right? That's also part of the story. Um, ooh, 70s dancer with their big bell bottoms. Bell bottoms will make a reappearance someday as being popular. <laughs> They were really popular, I think, when I was in grade nine, maybe grade 10. And then they were just like super atrocious for a long time. But like fashion trends, I swear, every 20 years, fashion just like recycles and repeats itself. So what looks absolutely ridiculous becomes super popular. Now we look at it and we're like, it's really dated. <laughs> I like the hair, like the action of the hair, nice opportunity to scribble. Just ensure that your, uh, that your legs are overall are thicker than your arms. This pose looks really uncomfortable. Midair, jumping, ninja pose. I chose the action poses here, which is why they're all super dynamic. This one has like a crazy foreshortened boot. I wanna make sure that I make the legs nice and muscular. Especially if these are like ninjas and fighters and stuff, right? They're not going to have really skinny arms and legs. They're going to have very muscular and then meaty arms and legs. So I realize this figure right now doesn't look very balanced. <laughs> uh, I lost kind of my, my center of balance there. Ooh, this is a nice pose. Very nice curve. It really, this is a beautiful, beautiful curve of the torso. Very dramatic shapes here. Very geometric. I just like this pose because she fits perfectly into the space that I had. <laughs> it's nice when that it works out that way, right? Let's see. We have room for one more. nice long body here so when you're building mass on the arms right you can just kind of draw them together when they're a silhouette you can just draw both of them together as like one kind of tapered line it's a lot easier that way when you don't really have that much time Join a virtual class to learn live from our professional artists. Get creative assignments, individual guidance, and real-time feedback on your artwork. Start today and level up your practice. If you learn something new, like and share this with a fellow art nerd. If you love receiving quality and free arts education, subscribe. Here are some other videos you can check out next.